Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Welcome back to another F1 Grand Prix. Today we are going to be heading towards the Circuit of the Americas today, as voted by you guys in the last episode. Make sure to click in that card in the top right corner to vote on the next track that we do. Um, but what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking Max Verstappen as Team Red Bull, and we are going to the Circuit of the Americas. Uh, so we're going to go for sure. We're going to go. Uh, Short session, we're going to go one shot qualifying, and we're going for 50% race length. And what we're going to do this time for this Grand Prix is I've bumped up the difficulty from 40 to 50. So we're going to see how well this goes, and then next time, if it goes well this time, we'll bump it up to 60, then we'll bump it up to 70 and 80 and so on. Right, so one thing I think I might try and do is give a increased downforce a try. Um, and we're going to go to the track with our soft tyres again. Right, we're going. Rich mix. Overtake. Okay, DRS. The top ten. Perfect. Oh, that corner wasn't great there. Right, get to the DRS zone, activate that. Nicely done. We're about 0.2 seconds behind our best time so far. So, but I don't think time when it's that much actually matters too much. It's whether I can drive the car a little bit better. And so far, yes, I can drive it much better. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using medium tyres because um, the tyres that you use in qualifying you have to take to the start of the race, I think. Unless that rule changed a couple of years ago, I'm not sure. But I know it definitely was a rule in F1 2018. Tyre rules are always changing. But we're going to do it on mediums just to make sure. Perfect. Oh, no grip for that. Remember, this is one shot. We have one shot to do this. Perfect. Right, activate the DRS. Right behind me, Hamilton's catching. We're in second. How are we in second? Oh, this is close. No! I'm not losing that corner again. No, I oh, we went to. Yeah, Hamilton's going to overtake us. How did we do that? Oh, we don't even have any ERS. No. That went horribly wrong. Third place. To be fair, third place is a good place to start, so I'll take complete, that. Let's review our top three today. Hamilton, Bottas, and so by the looks of it, Stafford. we've got With Hamilton in first, complete, Bottas in second, us in third. We'll be uh, our teammate is sixth, for the Grand Prix tomorrow, and Vettel so is fourth, sure and Leclerc then. is fifth. Right, let's give this another try. Stick behind him. 
Racing behind Vessel. Here we go. Perfect. And slow in. Perfect. Come on. Sleep around the inside. Nice. Right, shifting down into a medium ERS mode. Could I actually shift it down to low for now? No, we can't. Vettel will overtake us. Perfect. Slow in. Brilliant. So far, Vettel is just behind us. Hopefully, he doesn't overtake us. No, Vettel, stay back. Brilliant. Managed to keep a hold of the lead there, but who's not to say on the next lap when DRS is enabled that he comes for us? Honestly, this track is quite a difficult track. It's not the worst, but it's not the best track. There's just something about it where the corners are very tight. Dubai is the worst one of the worst because the square corners are just a nightmare especially when you're in manual it's so tricky because all of the corners are in mid-range like one gear is always too light like going in second gear around one of the corners but then going in third is too high Nice. Slow in. Right, let's see if we can pass Hamilton now. We're not going to pass him at all yet. And Vettel is right behind us. So, we're going hot lap. Oh, but we've got our own DRS as well. That's a good thing. That gives us a chance to stay away from Vettel. Hamilton there trying the overtake. Perfect. Right, drop it down into second round this corner. The elevation changes on this track is ridiculous. Right on our tail, though. We're three laps over target on fuel. Let's start burning it off, please. Yeah, I think that's a sensible idea. Right, so we're getting a larger gap between us and Vettel at the moment. It's time for 
Nope, nope, don't change the brake bias. That's the wrong setting. And now we're on no ERS. Oh, that's brilliant. Right, let's go high. Come on, Vettel. Stop hogging the road. No, don't you even think about it. Uh, the fact is, I was behind Vettel, so I can still use DRS on the straight, and he can't. Okay, we need some energy harvesting. Reduce ERS deployment. No, you're not overtaking me. Hamilton's right on my tail right now. We're at plus one lap of extra fuel. Fuel target, plus one. Yeah, I know. We are getting some form of distance. But we're going to have to do quite a bit of overtaking once they go into the pits. Though we should be going into the pits maybe... I don't know, how many laps after? I think about two or three laps after we'll be going into the pits ourselves. Because they'll be going in on like 14 I'd say. Because they're on softs. And then they'll be going on mediums. So by the looks of it, we are eight seconds ahead of... Alexander is in the pits. Alexander in the pits. Oh, he's in the pits. Wait, they're all going into the pits from soft hards already. That is a very risky strategy. Though, Hamilton is eight seconds behind us now. Hamilton's in the pits already, apparently. It's Bottas that was behind us. So the whole point of this now is to try and go quicker. Way too late on the breaking point there. Perfect. Increase ERS deployment. It's time to use some of this charge. Right, we'll go to medium for a little bit. Perfect. Nine seconds ahead of Bottas, which is a very good distance to be. Pit stop takes about 20 seconds off, I think, approximately. Perfect. Right, Vettel is behind us. I'm not gonna ask. You're leading the pack. P1 Vettel is behind you. Our gap behind is 18.2 seconds. They're on old softs. Old the soft pit window still. is open. Window currently open, 12 laps to go. Is there any way I want to find out? Metal behind the gap to the car behind is 18.5 seconds. They're on old softs, their tires are eight laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a one minute 43.5. So we got one more stop left. Hmm. Okay. That's good, but he might overtake us. That's surprising, though, that he's still on those soft tires, though. I wouldn't it's expect him to still be on that. limit. We'll be penalised if we exceed it. Keep that in mind as you approach. There's nothing better than playing F1 2019 and listening to a bit of the Prodigy while you're playing. Absolutely banging tunes. Right, let's go into the pits. What on earth just happened? 
Right, so we're going to be bumping it up to a rich mix, and we are taking it on a high ERS. Yeah, the light's red, and release, the light's release. green. Release, release. Let's go. I think that is also Vettel in the pits right now. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. That went horribly wrong out of the pits. It had total control of the car and then all of a sudden just chucked it to me. No warning. Perfect. Let's see the speed that this car is going to give us now. That corner was taken so quick there. Vettel has gone down two positions whilst he was in the pits. Hamilton is behind you. The gap behind us is 2.6 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Okay, Their cool. tyres are six laps old. The time last lap was a 143.5. Wait, Vettel took two stops. He took a stop for softs after about six or seven laps. Because his tyres were only eight laps old. Right. Perfect. Our ERS is slowly charging. We're looking at ten percent roughly in about half a lap, so we should be at about a hundred percent by lap twenty four, probably, hopefully. Maybe lap twenty five. Way too quick around that corner. Right, we're appro approaching last place right now. Already, which is actually kind of surprising. Right, we are catching up to 17th now. I think it's time to turn off ERS because we're not actually generating much. We are generating some, but not enough for my liking. Cubica, we're coming. I don't even know how to say that. I think that was close enough. Remaining. Five laps of fuel. I like that. Right, approaching the back markers again. I think if we don't overtake him in the sector three, we are definitely going to be getting um, DRS on the main straight. He's seen the blue flag though, so once we get close enough, he will pull over. There you go, see? Perfect. Right, I'm looking to go on to low again. See if we can regenerate as much as possible for the final three laps. Here we go. 
let's go. Deployment high. Revs are rich. Final three laps. Right, slowing down, dropping into second. We'll take that corner very nicely. We're approaching another back marker up ahead. Oh, it doesn't tell me who the back marker is then. It doesn't tell me the actual driver that's in front of me. That's annoying. Right, give us a race update. Position. Front of the pack, Hamilton is behind you. Our gap behind is 18.9 seconds. They're on old mediums. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Just three laps to go now. Three laps. Perfect. Uh, let's see our revs. We can go back down to standard. Perfect. We're catching up now. Nice. Be aware, we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Of fuel left. Two laps of fuel left. Drop it down to second, come on. Right, we can drop down to medium ERS. If we can get past Kvyat. Come on. Lost the rear end of the car there. Right, we're going on to high ERS deployment now. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. We could pump out a little bit more rich revs, I think. car out and we've lost that's them catching up now what's that damage looking like no front wing no front downforce at all crap you're leading the pack p1 hamilton behind the gap to the car behind is 22 Three seconds. They're on old mediums. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Who's that? Hamilton behind. Right. Come on, come on. We have low grip. No oh, front down no force. Fuel now. The tank is empty. No. Hamilton, no, 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 no. Get back here. Ah!
No! No! I have no grip. Oh, he's gone. No! Ah! Oh. That's just shattered my hopes and dreams. I blame Jeff for that. He told me I had 22 seconds, so I went slow. Jeff, you lying bastard. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.